Well, hello again and welcome to another in the series of Amazing Puzzle Solving Technique where the topic says 11D which simply means there are 11 numbers in the diagram 8V of the 9 available results 8 of those numbers will fit easily into the puzzle 1M simply means there will be 1 missing number and 1R, one of these numbers should be rejected so first, if we analyze the puzzle, we know that it starts here because it is indicated with a 1, 2, this is the second sector, third sector, fourth sector. So all sequences starting here, the puzzle will go in an anti-clockwise anti direction. So first, let us analyze the puzzle. We will notice in this ring, there, is, there are three terms. The first, but the first term is missing, so we would indicate it with an X. The second term would be 2.25. The third term would be 2.5. And the fourth term is 2 and 75 over 100. First, this is the whole number. 75 over 100, that's the fraction. If I should divide 75 by 100, I would get 0 0.75 so adding the whole number so obviously 2 and 75 over 100 is 2.75 now if we should quickly analyze the puzzle we see that it is counting down by 0 0.25 subtract 0 from 0.25 from each term you will get the next, so if I subtract 0 0.25 from 2.25, the only result I can get here is x. So, 2, obviously 2 must be the missing term. Now, looking over there, you have mainly convergence, so, no no number over there is 2 so obviously 2 is the missing number and it does say there will be one missing number so we are very fortunate to have gotten the missing number so early so there can be no more missing numbers now this first sector should add to 10 this inner ring it says what's the square root of 16 the only positive number you can multiply by itself is 4. So if I multiply 4 by 4, that will give me 16. So the square root of 16 must be 4. 2 is already there and 4. So 4 and 4, 8. So the three terms in this ring add to 10. So the only number I can put here, compulsory, I have to put 0. So 0 fits perfectly there. Looking over here, converting some of these, I see 0 over 4. 0 over 4 must be 0. So the only 0, the only thing you cannot divide a 0 by is 0 because they say it is inconclusive. But any other number you divide 0 by, you would get 0. So 0 is there. Now, analyzing the puzzle, we see that the first term in the outer ring is 0, 0, second term is 2, third term is missing, fourth term is 12. So, if I use the fourth term, subtract the first over 3 equals the third term x minus 2. The Notice this is the standard formula. I can use an individual formula and get it much quickly, much quicker, but I am still going to use the standard formula until later on we will get into the individual formula. So 12 subtract 0, that's 12 over 3 equal x minus 2. 12 over 3, that would be 4 equal x minus 2. Now, I want my x to be on my left hand side. I rather work with my x's on the left hand side. x minus 2 equals 4. So x minus 2 
plus 2 equal 4 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2, that will give me a 0. So the only thing I have over here is x. And x is what I want. x equals 6. So, for now, I know that this must be 6. 6 goes right into that slot. And I will look in my chart. If there is any 6, and I see 18 over 3, and 18 divided by 3, that is 6, so I can safely eliminate that. Now, this third sector, it has 4 terms, so it would be easy to get the result. A plus 2.5, that would be 10.5. 6 plus 2. That would be 8. So obviously this is 18.5. Look in my chart. I see 18 and a half. And 18 and a half is the same as 18.5. But I'm going to put 18.5. And so it's good to do a little conversion. Now analyzing the puzzle. I see the outer ring starts with 10. Second term is missing. Third term, 18.5. Fourth term is 25.75. Right. Now, I, can, I am going to use the standard formula. If I use the individual formula, it will take me half the time, but I'm still going to continue to use the standard formula. 25.75 subtract 10 over 3 equals 18.5 subtract x. 25.75 subtract 10, that would be 15.75. Over 3 equals 18.5 minus x. 15.75 divided by 3. 3 into 15 goes 5.25 equal 18.5 subtract x. Now, 5.25 equal 18.5 subtract x. I'm going to put this up here, but I'm going to put this at the top. 18.5 minus x equals 5.25. Now, I want to get rid of 18.5. I say 18.5 minus x. Minus 18.5 equals 5.25. 18.5 minus 8, that will give me 0. So the only thing left on this side would be minus x equal. I should have put minus 18.5 there. So when I use a positive 18.5, subtract. 5.25 5 4 2 So this would equal minus 13.25 minus 13.25 minus x equal minus 13.25 now remember I wanted a positive x. I wanted a positive x. This is a minus x. So what I really do is say minus x times negative 1 equals minus 13.25 times negative 1. Multiplying two negative make a positive. One time x is x. So I now change it into a positive x. 2 negative makes a positive. 1 times 13.25 equals 
So I'm gonna get 13 point two five for that sector. Remember, I have only used the standard formula. If I use the individual formula, it will take me half the time, but I'll continue to use the standard formula. So I look over here, look for 13.25, there it is, and eliminate 13.25. Now, I don't think there are any more easy clues in the puzzle, but if the first sec first term is 4, Second term missing, two. I'm going to put three, six, six ratio two can be used as a fraction, six over two, six over two, six divided by two is three. So six ratio, ratio, ratio two, ratio two is really three. So I'm going to put three here. If I have four, three, two, one, one is comp. If I use three here, one is compulsory. So six ratio two is three. One over one is one. So I could be on the right track. Now the second sector should add to thirteen point two five. I have 3 plus 2, that is 5, 5 plus 2.25, 7.25. So if I say 13.25, subtract 7.25, 0, 0, 7 from 13, I think that would be 5, 6, right? Yeah, right, we have to count our fingers sometimes. So 6 should go right here. And looking for 6, the square root of 36 is 6. Now, the first term is 4. First term is 4. Second term 6, 8, so the only number I can put here is 10. So put 10 here, look for 10, simple 10, get rid of 10. Now the puzzle seems to be solved, as easy as much as that. So the only number the puzzle did not use was 14 and 5 over 10. And 14 and 5 over 10 is really 14 and a half. And a half is 0 0.5. So the reject number is 14.5. The missing number is 2. So the puzzle, in fact, is. And as I have told you before, all these rotations obey one rule. You can check it. Use the standard formula. I'm only using the standard formula for now. But later I'm going to use the individual formula. The, indi the individual formula normally takes half the time that the standard formula takes. But for now, you have got to learn every step of the inch. And continue to be good and nice. Amazing puzzle is here to stay. And will in fact stay no matter the fight it gets. Amazing puzzle is here on earth to stay and the teachers I'm telling you is for the children and the children must learn. Thank you very much. Be of good courage until bye bye.